the ladies that are with me were in the World Trade Center on the, on, in the first building and escaped through the lobby where they report they believe there was a bomb in the lobby. And even the turnstile was burnt and was sticking up and they just told us to run. And as we were coming out, we passed the lobby. There was no lobby. So I believe the, the bomb hit the lobby first and a couple of seconds in the first plane hit. They were having coffee in the World Trade Center when the first plane struck. And all of a sudden it sounded like, I don't know where the subway is, but it sounded like a subway collision, a bomb, and it, it, it was just pounding, boom, 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 boom. And I, I literally thought the subway had exploded and, and all the cars put the land on top of it. It was so loud. And what'd you did you see what happened? What happened? Well, I was in the past train, and there was a huge explosion sound. Everyone came out. Tell us what you saw when you exited the subway station due to a lack of smoke. Eileen. Um, it was very smoky, and then we exited on Church Street out of the past train station. Uh, at the time, I was actually in the subway heading towards the World Trade Center right around Franklin Street, and after the first explosion, the subway station started to fill with smoke. The subway cars started to fill with smoke, and the subways actually stopped. I was entering the building on the lobby level. I was in the revolving door when the plane hit the building. David Dre worked in number one World Trade Center. One of the elevators, I think, came crashing to the lobby level and all this debris came flying out of it. And a fireball emerged from the, lo from the elevator lobby and was coming toward me. I was standing next to one World Trade Center and then all of a sudden I heard rumbling and we all started running away from it. The glass like blew out and threw me onto the sidewalk and I, I couldn't see for like 20 seconds. Bottom elevator did a glass flame that exploded out the front of the World Trade Center. Glass flew everywhere. I asked him what happened. He, uh, what was amazing about his story was that he was in the lobby of World Trade Center One when the plane, the first plane hit, and when the debris started coming down. He went back to go into the building to protect himself and was in the revolving doors going back in off West Street when he looked up and a fireball came flying out, I guess from the elevator shafts, he, that's what he seemed to believe, and blew out all the windows and threw him back onto the street. Yes, I was right there. I was, in the, I was down in the basement, came down, all of a sudden the elevator blew up, smoke, I dragged the guy out, his skin was hanging off, and I dragged him out, and I helped him out to the, to the ambulance. On the sixth floor, and I was uh, reviewing some work, and it was about 10 to 9, and the building shook. And I felt it was an earthquake, and it didn't bother me because I felt the building could sustain earthquakes. They were built for that. And then there was a huge explosion, and the ceiling fell. She went through the front uh, door of the ground floor, and the lady who was about three seconds in front of him was hit by a terrific fireball, and she was critically injured. So we went to our systems, I think he got some sort of table to put over. And as he was doing that, another explosion happened. And uh, the B4 level, I was assigned to the B3 level. But I had to do something in the B4 uh, sheet metal shop. So I went in the sheet metal shop, do what I had to do. And on my way, I heard a, a bomb. So I said, ah, probably the transformer again blew up. So. I stepped back, finished what I had to finish, and I started towards the door again. And there come a big blast with a big ball of fire. And that's when I got hit. It hit me right back down on the ground, and I realized that my ankle was shattered. There was an explosion. We were on the support floor, which is the basement. A uh, guy came in warning. All his skin was out of his body. All his skin was out of his body. We took him out. We, run, we ran out. We heard a lot, a lot of rumbling. I went back in. And there was uh, a lot of smoke. We were... And all of a sudden, we were boom! I thought it was a generator that blew up on the basement. And I said to myself, oh my God, I think it's a generator. And I was going to work on it. And when I finished saying that in my mind, I hear boom! Right on top. Pretty far away. So it was a difference between coming from the basement and coming from the top. And that's, everybody started screaming. And a person comes running into the office saying, explosion, explosion, explosion. He got his hand extended, and all the skin was pulled from his, under, under his arm, all the way to the top of the fingertips, and it was hanging on both arms. Hanging and hanging. And then I look at his face, and he was missing parts of his face. And I said, what happened? What happened? And he said, 
the elevators, the elevators. We then uh, were, you know, talking about the day's work and what needed to be done. We heard a massive explosion uh, that was in the World Trade Center at about 8.46 a.m. in the morning. Um, the explosion came from, I believe, at first we believed that it came from the mechanical room. And then uh, we heard a series of other uh, explosions that sounded up on the above uh, levels of the, of the building to where we then, we then realized that it, there was something wrong and there was a, a major problem. Piper was the first chief into the building. Right away, a guy from the Port Authority told him the damage was somewhere above the 78th floor. But all you had to do was look around. It was obvious. Something had happened right there in the lobby. You just, you just saw that all the windows were blown out. The lobby looked like the plane hit the lobby. This happened at about 8.45 this morning while we were on the air. It first broke. It's now uh, some three hours and a few minutes later. Let's go back to that moment when we were on the air and the first crash took place. What the hell was that? It sounded like a plane crash. That was the reaction on the part of, uh... Come to us, come to us. Come to us. Come to us. Hey, Beth, well, what is that? Something, somebody hit uh, the World Trade Center or the... It's a trade center. The World trade, trade center. World Trade Center. There's a fire on the upper floors. It's just an explosion. Right. You describe what you saw on the first floor and right after the plane hit. Once the plane hit the top, then that's when the bomb is going off on the first floor. It's like the plane was actually hitting, hitting the first floor.